Welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. I honestly have no idea how much of this game I have left, and plus there's this additional content. I don't know if I have access to that. I'll look into it. Um, if I do, I'll be playing that too. So for now, we're just going to continue the story. Let's see, we left off... Oh, where are we? Hauntings. Okay. Yeah, the dragon's hideout. Oh my god, that was such a long-ass chapter. <laughs> Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. We can try again tomorrow, okay? Right, okay, so let me just remind people that she saw a vision of his wife and daughter killed like moments before it happened. Oh, you're gonna go back and forth, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know why it even makes me do that every time, but... Oh! There she is. Oh god, that's creepy. <laughs> why would you guys... Um, there's a security code on that door. Why would... Okay, whatever. Oh, God. That is so creepy. But I love it. I mean, I love ghost stories, man. There's... Because of this. <laughs> Oh, God. You want me to go in that one? Uh, why are these all open? Where'd she go? Oh, well, there's only one way to go, I guess. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. Um, your daughter brought me here. It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jimmy. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I don't know if doing that was a good idea. He needed to mourn and, you know, move on and... That was probably a very bad idea. <laughs> because now he knows that there's a link between Jody and spirits, I guess. And she can actually communicate with the afterlife. 
or whatever, ghosts. So, didn't even show any choices in that one, so I think that was more just for context. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infrared. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. And we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. You have? Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new a era her outfit. for our nation. Cosplaying as her would be so easy. <laughs> he looks like a character from Heavy Rain. Like one of the main characters. I, I can't really remember any of their names because I haven't didn't play it all the way through, but something about his character design is down. very familiar looking. Um, Ugh. Big boys and their new toys. <laughs> I preferred to leave before barfing all over their carpet. <laughs> we played our part in all of this. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infraworld. Yeah, we should know better after she was manipulated yeah, that other time. Um, normal life. Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. You could always Top leave. Tier, big car, golf meetings. Hmm. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen, Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, and I didn't always do the right thing. Right. But maybe we could start again, you know, try and build something together. Um. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him, and I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. We have something in common. We both care about you. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm not giving him an answer yet because I don't think she, I really don't think Whatever she is do. ready for it. Just remember, I'll always be there for you. I, yeah. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later okay. On. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet hmm. you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Okay, what's going on? You're offering him alcohol. That usually means you're trying to cover something. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Um, sure. This one's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Not sure what I'm doing, but I'm just following you.
I haven't called on Aiden yet. All right, here we are. Okay. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> sure. What am I? What are we doing? Whatever Nathan says. Be careful. What does that mean? No, I just cannot get over the way they do the eyes here. They just, the moistness of them, it's weird. I mean, weird in a good way. Oh, I like it. Well, I mean, they don't, the, the graphics are really good for the time period. Don't get me wrong. Like the, the detail on his face with the wrinkles. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. What's the catch? You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Hmm. Elizabeth again. That's why he... That was her alias when we did the embassy thing. Ooh, money. $500. $500,000. Oh, $500,000. <laughs> For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks. What's the catch, though? Before you go. I knew it. There's one last thing I'd like to ask. Yeah, I know it. You want me to look for your wife and daughter again, when my don't you? Wife and daughter disappeared in that accident. Disappeared? 15 years ago. They died. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Hanging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. Uh-huh. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. And I'm sure that's a thing that you, you never can... uh, completely get over. And I realized. Oh, God. They were still here all the time, near me. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I just couldn't see. I saw this area last time I was in your office I knew it was gonna come up again me everything I needed to study the infra world they were interested in military applications I was interested in so are you saying this is all your fault it's taken me some years but I finally succeeded in creating this they look like they're trapped and they want to be let out Hello, my darlings. Helen. Laura. They look like I they're screaming. So what what the heck, man? I can just see them every day. Oh my god, what the hell? We'll be together. What are you talking about? I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld. No. With the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? No. What this do you is... want from me? No. I want you to help me talk to them. I'm not doing that. I hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. No. Um... No. And they're dead. They're in the info world now. You cannot make them come back. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. 
Yeah, because they're Since dead. That day I heard them through a little girl. You. That was. I knew that was a mistake to do. Begging you. No, I'm not Jody, doing it. I'm sorry. Do this for me. No. Give me your hands. Uh, apparently I don't have a choice. I guess they're gone. Oh. Helen. My darling. So much. Let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. I knew it. They look like they're in pain. Let us die. You. You're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two walls. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Wow, you're really reason. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death. Death is nothing. You're, you're really you gobbling it nothing. up right now. Goodbye, Nathan. No. I hope you find peace. Okay, well, that, that was a thing that sure happened. That's, uh, that's so crazy. I, I wonder, I mean, you, I feel like David Cage does that on purpose sometimes, you know? Like he, oh God, why the weird angles? Uh, okay, you don't want to go that way. Like, he'll cast certain people in certain roles on purpose. Like, you know, um, in Detroit Become Human, he, um, oh god, what the hell. He cast uh, some characters who worked on... Hi, Judy. Good to see you again. Similar things. Like, um... Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. I'll talk about it later. We can't let you go. Uh-huh. We can't kill you either. Nope. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid. Which will oh, you, you did the same thing to me that you did to her mom, didn't you? Exactly what we did with your mother. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. A uh, simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Julie. We will always be grateful for your help. Huh. Yeah, I can't remember his name, Daddy. but never mind. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. 
Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. That's not what I was saying. The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infoworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. Wasn't the whole point of us working for that not to happen? I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. No, this is a bad idea. It's gonna turn out fine. Well, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that David Cage purposely cast Willem Dafoe in this role because of his history as the Green Goblin. Oh my god, what the flying freaking hell. Oh god, you're you're drunk again, Aiden. Can I help her? There we go. You're too weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. I'm not controlling that. I'm doing nothing right now. He's moving on his own. Oh, can I? Where's the rest of your team? Vincent. Cole. They <laughs> have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Okay, boys, how do I get your attention? Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Oh, there. Cole here. Hello? Hello? Oh. Okay, that that didn't work. This ought to get their attention. No. How about this one? Come on, guys. You you know Aiden well enough to know what's going. That something's wrong. Really, you're not going to question any of this weird stuff that's happening. Oh my God, you guys suck. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden. Oh, he's that figured you, it out. If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be... What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. They figured it out. Good, good job, guys. Okay. Right. Now where? Oh, you can actually see me? That's weird. This way. Okay. Over there. Keep going forward, boys. Okay, I get it. You guys still coming? Okay. This is probably my favorite section to play as Aiden so far. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Uh, 
after the the cell section is still my favorite section to play in total but this is this is getting up there as a close second okay boys let's go I'm loving this so much right now Shit, Macardo, leave it to me can I help you Cole Freeman I have a level three authorization he's with me Mm. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Aiden, why don't you just possess him? Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? This is so cool, I love it. He's got it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? Yep, there it is. I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Say that out loud where he can hear you, why don't you? Jesus. Here? Um, where'd the tether go? Oh, whoops. Door's locked, I Jody. Get out. Nathan. He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. Because he's an idiot. Oh, stop him. This is kind of... I'll save my thoughts for the end. <laughs> the containment field. Oh, Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Oh my this god, way. she's actually oh, running. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on right now. Oh god. I'm, I'm just following you, Ryan. I can't really see what's happening. It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. I do. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Don't get, get him anyway. Hayden, 
Get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. You're all gonna die. Probably. Okay, what do we want to do now? Not now, I think. Oh, okay, sorry. Come on. Come on. What do you want me to do, Cole? It's not working. I can't stop the oh, condenser. Wait a minute. Or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here. Oh, God damn here. it. There was a thing that popped up. Hurry! Whatever. We're out of time. I'm coming. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. No way are you doing that. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot. It's the best I got. Come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clear up their own fucking mess. I'm not letting you do that alone. Jody, no. Cole's right. It's our only chance. You know who he looks like right? from Heavy Rain? The dad, now that I'm thinking about it. I think that. I, I, I think that's the character I'm thinking of. Maybe it's the same actor, I don't know. Been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion would be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Well, that's fine with me, I guess. You know, something that kind of bugs me. No, I'm, I gotta save it to the end, but oh my god. Oh god, am I gonna have to... The condenser zone is on the other side yeah, of that door. Yeah, yeah, We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. Wait. Don't attract attention, or we're dead. You said not to get too close to them, but there's one right there. I'm just being quiet, I'm sorry. I'm, con I'm concentrating. Y'all should know that by now. Oh, it moved out of the way just in time. Thanks. No! Cole! No, I... Tony, they're coming! I don't care, I'm going back for Cole. Tony, no! He's fine, he's fine, he's good. I'm sorry, princess. No, don't don't you dare. You're gonna have to go on without me. I'm not going on without you. I've got I've got Aiden. I'm not leaving you. Fine. The black 
son, Jody. No way. Or nobody uh, for me. I can heal you. He's right. No. Come on, Jody. No. I'm not. No, Aiden. Aiden. Oh god, if only the freaking controls were made. There you go. He's good now. Aiden has done all he can. I'm not letting him die. I, I'm sorry, it's not happening. She, he's the one dad figure left in her life that isn't, that didn't disappoint her, basically. <laughs> Black hole son, won't you come? I don't Black know son. the words. But it's Let's a good this. song, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay, do we have a direction? I'm just gonna push forward. What's Aiden? They're all around us. Yeah, but just ignore them. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I can't find them. They're not I'll call lost. Them, but they don't come. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Your anger has changed you. I miss them. I miss them. Whoa, so whoa, much. whoa, 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 no. Put the gun down. No! Uh, oh, God. Well... I guess that's one way to reunite with your family, I but you so much. Uh, that wasn't. No, oh, God. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Well, you broke it. Do it. Do it for me. I see how it is. Jody. Uh, What he was looking for. Come on. 
Do I need to get ready for QTEs and shit? Oh, no, I don't have to do anything apparently. Well, why are these suddenly so easy? <laughs> You had to say it, didn't you? Uh, uh, my containment pill's not working. What? You sure? Just check the panel. Fuck the, I'm telling you, it's not working. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta think. I gotta think of something. Fuck. Here. Come on, what are you doing? He's getting the best chance of destroying the Black Sun. Just take this no, and no, do it. No, no, those things are gonna slaughter you. Take damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. I got it. I knew we were gonna do that the minute that her thing deactivated. I After I told you I needed time to think, okay, whatever. Once again, my choice didn't make a bit of difference. Okay, am I controlling you, Jody? Let's go. Sorry, I didn't see that button. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nope. We inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late. It's too late. I think because I recently did a directional button heavy you must have section. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Seriously? How many fucking buttons are you going to make me do? This time Aiden was her twin, twin brother. My brother. Still born. Well, that explains a lot, actually. 
something I was actually going to complain about at the end. We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you. And hated you for years. You were a part of me. This explains so much of Ian's character. Because one of my main gripes was that she said very early on that Aiden was a wild animal, he couldn't be controlled, blah blah blah, but like every every single time she asked him to do something, every single time she needed something from him, he did it. So it was really buggy me that she said that about him being a wild animal, whatever, and then he kept Living, helping her anyway. Feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Yeah. So that, this is my choice, to go beyond or to live, and I'm going to choose to live. And this is the probably the only moment when my decisions would have impacted anything. Because, for example, if I hadn't healed Cole, he might have been there. Okay, do I have to press anything? Do I have to do anything? I'm watching the screen because I don't trust this. Yeah. Aiden? Aiden's gone. We made it. Jody, we made it. Aiden?
Okay, so refused or postponed Ryan's declaration, took the CIA money, healed Cole, convinced Dawkins, took his own life. Ryan survived, um, shut down the Black Sun, and I chose life. Epilogue. Why did I not get any trophies for that? Doesn't matter. Just curious. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. Is that why everything was out of order? I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon 283, good lord. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on well the done there, track. Nathan. Jesus. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. Oh God, really? Another one? I know. Oh, would they be that stupid? Experiments. Now that they know it's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. Yeah. Never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. Well, you finally I understood. So much. You finally understood what he, who he was, so, you know, he was your family. So, losing him meant losing your family. Oh, that's cute. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. Oh. So, alone, Zoe, Jay, or Ryan. Um, ooh, let me think about this. 
I don't think she should be alone for sure. Uh, um, Zoe, I think, means she goes back with the group. Jay, I kind of want to choose that one because that felt like when she was the most at home, where she was the most welcome and loved. So I'm going with that one. Yeah, go with that one. So obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I mean, I started something with Jay. With Jay. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. Yeah. Sorry, We've Ryan. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. Uh huh. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. They took me in when I was alone. Yeah, exactly. When all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there. With them. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Jimmy's gone back to school. He's clean now. Tuesday works behind a bar. Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am. Just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. I see things at night. Terrifying things. Tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare her. I know I don't have much time. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. Huh. Okay then. Next time, I'll kill everyone. Okay. Oh my God. I was so afraid I lost. Let's just talk about the negatives like first so I can I end on a positive note. Um. The controls. The controls were just bad. Just really, really bad. Like the directional controls, I never completely got a handle on. She's magnificent. Um, I hate motion controls. If there is a way to make this easier, I never saw it. Um, I didn't control. Sometimes it was easy for me to do, but sometimes it felt like I was controlling someone who was drunk. <laughs> um, when did we ever see her with a rock guitar? Um, story, parts of it were excellent. Like, I was engaged the whole time. I, lo I loved it. Um, but there were other times when it felt like Typical David Cage, okay, David Cage has this weird thing where like he escalates things way past what you would expect to happen in a scenario. Like let's let's for example take um, the thing with Jody, you know, throwing snowballs with the kids. 
he took a scenario like that and escalated it so quickly for no reason like the the kid attacking her and like smothering her with snow like that wouldn't happen i'm sorry that would not happen and none of the kids were coming out to help they weren't screaming and going mom help you know so that that scenario was bullshit that would never happen um and then we have like her being sexually assaulted i'm not saying that wouldn't happen I'm just saying that, like, it escalated way too quickly out of nowhere, just so the, the scene, scene could happen. Just so you could would be faced with that choice of killing all those guys to protect her. So, and, and then, yeah, there's just so many moments where things just happen like and and like the party where they they went from you know making fun of her which i expected them to make fun of her for bringing in the poetry book but then all of a sudden they're like oh she's a witch let's burn her let's throw her in the in the closet like that came out of nowhere there was no reason for them to act like that no reason for them to start doing that i replayed that section and actually showed them her powers. And in that scenario, it makes sense for them because they saw it and they were freaking out. But, you know, but the first time I didn't show them anything and they still did that. So when in my choice, it didn't make any sense for them to be like, oh, she's a witch, blah, blah, blah. And then lock her up and, you know, like I said, there was that moment that was very Carrie-ish where you're like, Oh, revenge I actually did that the second time where you can actually burn the house down if you if you want <laughs> so I feel like that's just typical David Cage where he pushes the scenarios to make you to make certain things happen and like he's and like the subtlety is not there at all it's it's super in your face like Joey's room there's that sign that says Big Brother is watching where it would have been much more you would have still understood her situation without that glaring in your face and like when she's homeless and there's that sign that says your new home is here again that was just so smacking you in the face with it when this is a video game man show don't tell don't tell us what's happening by giving us these very obvious things in our faces um, that's ridiculous. It's like, your audience is not stupid. We'll pick up on the, on the subtext, you know? Um, as I was trying to say earlier, as we got, as we, as Iden, identity was revealed, um, that makes so much sense because, um, early on when she's still young, um, Jody has this dialogue where she's saying, he's a wild animal, sometimes he scares me, you can't control him, blah, 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 blah. But in every single scenario, we see Aiden doing things to protect her, doing whatever she asks him to do. And like he wasn't, he wasn't very friendly towards Ryan because, well, he was acting like a brother. So he didn't like that Ryan was getting up on his sister. And so that all makes sense. Now that that's revealed, that was one thing I was going to complain about, that it didn't make sense why he was constantly helping her, constantly protecting her, and constantly following her instructions when she made that statement that you can't control him, that he does what he wants, but he always did what she wanted all the time. So that, that at least made sense. Um, the, the acting was amazing. It was so good. Um, oh, that's nice. Like, sometimes it, it didn't make sense. Convent, uh-huh. Oh, wow, look at all that. 16% um, chose to go with the, um, the homeless crew, I guess, is what we'll call them. Man, I, I got a lot of trophies right there. Whoa, it keeps going. 
well, I just got a bunch of trophies. <laughs> um, but that decision feels like it was the right one to make for to me because when she was with that group, that felt like when she was the most welcomed, you know, like I guess with Jay and Paul and all of them kind of at the same time, but not as much, if that makes any sense, because, um, I don't know, the, the homeless crew in accepted her and even when they saw what she could do, they weren't afraid of it. They, they were like, this is a miracle and they loved on her and so that, that choice felt right to me and that's interesting. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> Yeah, the acting was great. Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe were amazing. Sometimes their characters, sometimes Will, uh, Willem Dafoe's character wasn't very consistent though. Like throughout most, 95% of the game, he was acting as a father figure to her. And then all of a sudden we get this scene of, you know, her channeling his wife and daughter. And then all of a sudden he's the one who's been um, doing all this stuff with the infra world this whole time to get back to them and like I don't know it just none of that seems to add up um, and like the game itself was paced kind of oddly like sometimes sections would take me five minutes to do and sometimes they took me an hour to do so I feel like it, it wasn't paced very well like I don't know how that could and, and like some sections looking back on I feel like if they had been taken out nothing would have been lost <laughs> you know like um, the Navajo section I don't know I feel like a lot of that kind of added up to nothing except for someone else for her to see at the end and possibly live with, choose to live with the homo section was was good um the black ops section was good because that showed why she was running away from the cia but i don't know i just feel like some parts of it could have been left out entirely and nothing would have been lost <laughs> you could just infer it in like a sentence rather than show me a whole scene where I have to play and then oh the decisions let's talk about them they like again 95% of the game my decisions didn't really matter because of how they constructed the story in a non-linear path so like they start us start her off as an adult already running away from the CIA so you already know that that's where she'll end up so everything that comes before it feels like it doesn't matter because you know that that's what's going to happen to her eventually so like you know when um, Ryan came for her and there was that choice to leave or stay that's why I was like there's no point in me choosing to stay I know that she's going to have to go with him so and like little thing some other things like I messed up some QTEs in the condenser section and that ultimately ultimately led to nothing the fact that I did not shut down the condenser did not affect the story in, in any way shape or form like there's nothing there's no change um the, the only thing that it was impacted in any remotely meaningful way was this ending because I ever all the characters were alive well, Nathan had to die for story reasons, but, you know, Cole was alive, Ryan was alive, <clears throat> um, all of the homeless crew were alive for her to reunite with in the end. So, like, if I hadn't saved them during that, that fire, then that would have definitely changed the ending <laughs> a lot. Um, And like when she's seeing beyond and she's seeing life, 
when she was looking into the beyond section all it was was the old woman but like if i hadn't healed cole he might have been there if ryan died somehow he might have been there so that that stuff changes but like most of my choices didn't matter in any way shape or form i could have you can actually make Iden go super evil, and I don't know if that impacts anything either. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but... So, in that regard, I, it just doesn't feel like your choices impact anything. Even if you miss it, the, like, except at the very, very end, like... And characters living and dying, like... Like, I could have messed up all those QTEs and Jody would have died, I guess. Or Dryan would have died to save her or something. I don't know, but... I I did love the story. I'm not... Don't get me wrong. I love the story, but I feel... It just was paced kind of awkwardly. And... Like, some stuff in it was really cool and some stuff of it was not that strong. I feel like the story was too big for the for this for a video game if that makes any sense. I feel like this this should have been like this story is even too big for a movie to be honest. I think this story would work best in like a a television show maybe. So it can have more time devoted to these moments. Like, even me saying, it takes me five minutes, one time, hour, the next time. I think if this were, like, an, a true episodic thing, like a TV show, it would work. It would, it would have worked a lot better, or, like, a book series. Because then you can flesh out the ideas more, and um, you can really get dig into it. Because there's so much that's opened here, but it's just not explored, because... You just don't have the time to explore it. It's a, you know, it's a, I don't know how long this ended up being. 10 hours, 10, 11, 12 hours. And that's not enough time to devote to such a huge ass story. Um, mm -hmm. Where some stuff doesn't feel like it was fully explained. Which, do, it, it doesn't have to be fully explained. Let me, let me clarify. It doesn't have to be fully explained. Like, I don't really mind. But... At the same time, I don't know. It's like, and then the way it ends with that epilogue showing that it's not over. And of course, I don't think, I don't have, for, as far as I know, Quantic Dream's not going to come back to this. <laughs> but it, it's acting, it, it's like the ending of Super Mario Brothers movie or the Avatar movie where it's, teasing a sequel that's never going to happen <laughs> um it's suggesting that zoe has a link with an entity so did she have a twin or something who knows but um i still i still liked this game i liked the story i liked um the characters it was acted really well it looked really good i feel like it suffered from the usual David Cage writing where everything was super obvious and um, the the ideas were too big for the game so and the choices did not matter let's just you know other than the living and dying part at the end the choices did not matter in the slightest and so far the only game that I've played from him at least were the choices do matter is Detroit Become Human. Your choices actually do matter in that one. Like what you do leaves an impact that is actually felt. This one, nothing I did mattered. <laughs> like I said, the condenser thing, I didn't, I didn't turn it off and nothing mattered. But in any case, um, I'm glad I finally played it. Glad I got to experience it. Um, I, I'm probably not going to come back to this other than for myself, maybe. Um, I I might check out, see if this additional content is anything that I can do. 
but for now we're going to leave it here. Um, I liked it. It was good. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you for the next series, whichever, whatever that's going to be. Until then, I'll see you. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.